Soul Calibur 6. Hello everybody and welcome to Soul Calibur 6, where I am going to show you how to unlock the best character in the game, all variations of this character. I repeat, the best character in the game ever, all variations. Uh, so to start, we're going to turn this music down. Oh gosh. In order to get the best character in the game, what you're going to want to do is going to go to creation. You will see I have them unlocked already, all three variations of the best character ever, which is Pepsi Man. That is correct. The best character in the game is Pepsi Man, and there are three different ways to build Pepsi Man, all of them each unique, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, so first, we'll start with the classic. do a little uh, rotation there. You'll notice on this version there is a bit of clipping. Um, like you'll see there's a line down the back can't really do anything about it. and if you look under the arms uh, the textures didn't mesh perfectly but honestly fairly hard to notice in game especially when you know characters are zoomed out to I don't know maybe about this much and they're always going to be constantly moving. Uh, it's very minuscule, won't even notice. Barely an inconvenience. Uh, so, starting off with the cl classic Pepsi Man, based on his PlayStation 1 debut. Uh, for weapon style, you're gonna go to Aswell, do Eternity and Ephemerality, get into the Anime Pack, and the Holy Soul Charge. Uh, anime pack and effects and the anime pack and effects and the holy soul charge i use them for every version of pepsi man feel free to mix it up as you want to this is your game do as you please uh for the body we are going to pick the shapeshifter i know that a lot of variations of pepsi man are already using the shapeshifter but they're fairly inaccurate because the shapeshifter actually has a very defined facial features, um, like very defined ears, very defined nose, eyes, mouth, chin. Uh, Pepsi Man really doesn't have that if you're looking at actual pictures of Pepsi Man. And it's not even a graphical infidelity thing. Pepsi Man just doesn't have a face. Uh, so even though we did pick Shapeshifter, uh, we set it up that... Uh, we're not going to make the entire skin silver, and we are going to give him the rubber mask to kind of cover everything. Uh, and as a result, there's a little special gimmick I have with uh, at least two of my versions of Pepsi Man that I'll go into when we get to the coloring section. Uh, but yeah, in the meantime, shapeshifter male, uh, slightly tall slash average. Uh, Everything is at negative 12. I didn't bother with the dimensions at all. These are just, you know, when you select slightly tall and average, these are the standard dimensions that come. Didn't modify. Uh, male face one, probably doesn't matter. Dependable leader, this is just the voice I gave him. Uh, selected it and I went. This should be a good fight. Uh, speed pitch up 30 and this vocal be a turn fight. down, vocal tone down 30. Uh, the reason I chose that uh, to speed it up a little bit is because, you know, Pepsi is high, high sugar, high caffeine. Uh, he's going to be a little bit on the hyper side, but I don't want him to be a squeaky chipmunk. So put the tone down negative 30 in order to kind of balance that out and give him a normal voice that's just a little bit faster. Uh, you can give him whatever voice you want to, but this is kind of the route that I went. Uh, for the equipment, very simple. Uh, rubber mask sleeveless unitard you'll kind of see that there is a sleeveless element there we'll uh get to that in a second silver necklace never forget the necklace most people like i've been to at least one convention where there were like three different pepsi men they all forgot the chain necklace never forget the chain necklace it's a strict part of the costume 
And then last to round out the feat is just the Shinobi Tabi. And then this is something I like to do. Um, at least for this version of Pepsi Man, uh, I gave him just, you know, it, it's it's gimmicky. But it is a can of Pepsi made up of a cylinder, a cog wheel for the top, and a pure ring for the bottom. Since I chose the Soul of Aswell, he is never going to be touching or really holding any of his weapons. So him holding a can of Pepsi does not break immersion at all. This is completely optional, and these are the only additional objects that I added to the character. So you can just remove all of these if you don't want him just holding a can of Pepsi. Uh, but if you do want him holding a can of Pepsi, uh, the exact dimensions are for the cylinder. Right hand, left right is zero, up down is seven, forward back is negative 19, width minus 15, Length is 10. Thickness is negative 15. Uh, rotating vertically and horizontally, just leave them at default 0. And the angle is going to be 87. Uh, to add the cogwheel on top, again, right hand. Uh, the left right is going to be negative 13. The up down is going to be 8. The forward back is going to be negative 19. Width and length are going to both be negative 50. Just crank that all the way down uh, because cogwheel is big, big item to start. Uh, if you're wanting to fit on a can of Pepsi, then it's going to have to be small. Uh, rotating horizontally, it's going to be 87. Uh, thickness and rotating vertically, both are going to be zero. Just leave those alone. And angle is actually also going to be zero because we already pretty much compensated that for... Um, the up, down, forward, backward, everything like that. And then lastly, uh, to add just a little bit of flair to the bottom, the pure ring. Again, right hand. Uh, moving left, right, is right, left, whatever, is going to be 12. Move up, down is going to be 6. Forward, backward is going to be negative 19. Width is going to be negative 25. Length, leave the same. Thickness, we're going to make negative 20. Rotating vertically, we're making that 87. Rotating horizontally is going to be 87. And the angle is still going to be zero. So that's all the equipment there. Now, the fun part to actually make the character look like the character, we get into the colors and patterns. Uh, so a little gimmick I said about... Uh, the color of the character, since we don't have to make him all silver and then just try and cover up the majority with blue. Uh, I made his primary skin tone brown because I like the concept of whenever his sleeveless unitard breaks. Um, yes, the arms are still going to be the traditional colors, uh, but if he ever does a costume break, he looks like he's just made of Pepsi. It's just shiny brown, and that's really all Pepsi is when you boil it down to it. Uh, pun intended. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, going over the equipment, uh, you don't need to change the overall complex. Uh, for the mask, you actually don't need to change this color at all if you don't want to. We cover up with stick cover it up with stickers to get a more accurate coloring, in my opinion. But in case you're curious, uh, the color I made it is 2504. For the sleeveless unitard, the majority of it is blue, and that's what we're going to be coloring it. The color I chose for that is 5, 43, 5. Uh, for the necklace, default color, you don't have to play with that if you don't want to. If you want to give them a gold chain, go for it, but it's not accurate. The current silver chain necklace, totally fine. And then lastly, Shinobi Tabi. I went 3, 45, 5, because looking at it from a distance, that is the color that actually most best reflects the same color as the sleeveless unitard. And then for the, uh, if you do decide to go the Pepsi can route, the first object, the cylinder, is going to be 15, 45, 9. The cogwheel. All three colors are going to be 2504. Uh, you're going to notice that 2504 being a common theme for trying to replicate that specific silver. Uh, so 2504 across the board. 
And then same thing for the pure ring at the very bottom of the can. That's going to be that specific set of silver as well. Now for the fun part, the stickers. Starting off easy, I used two square stickers on the rubber mask. I uh, And all I... Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is the skin. Um, uh, this is the mask. Uh, so for the skin, uh, we did go sleeveless unitard because it's easier to... Like, clipping gets a little bit weird when you try to put a, a large sticker, full-color sticker, on the full-body suit. Uh, I, think, I think it's just called the rubber suit. Uh, so... Uh, went sleeveless unitard to get more accurate uh, kind of colorization, but that still leaves the arms unaccounted for. So I just took two uh, square stickers, put them on each of the arms, and colorized them and adjusted them appropriately. So for the left arm, the color is 5425. Should actually be a 43. Yeah, sorry. So, 54335. Uh, size, crank that all the way up to 100. You're going to make it as big as possible in order to cover the full arm as best you can. And honestly, minus some clipping issues around like the underarm, the palm, and the fingertips, which you aren't even going to be looking at the palm and the fingertips anyway. Uh, pretty good job there as it turns out. Angle and move on axis, you're just gonna leave those alone. And move along circumference, that's gonna be negative 24. Uh, you're just rotating it around because it essentially like the square doesn't wrap around entirely. It wraps up really close to itself, but the edges don't quite touch. And that's where a lot of the clipping on the underarm is. So you rotate it around the, or you move it along the circumference, negative 24 degrees so that way you're tucking that seam underneath the arm um i can just kind of show you let's say we put it down to like negative 37 uh you'll see that the seam is now closer to the front of the arm you really don't want that uh so we're just going to leave it at negative 24. kind of the inverse for the right arm uh you're going to take the motif three square sticker uh color is going to be that 2504 we've been using a lot uh, put it on the right arm, uh, and for both, rotation method is how we're going to put it on. Uh, otherwise, pretty much the same thing. The size, it cranked that all the way up to 100. Angle is unchanged, axis is unchanged. Moving on the circumference, you're going to make that positive 24, because you're rotating on a mirrored axis. So since... It, it's We're essentially trying to mirror the character. If it's negative on one side, it has to be positive on the other. And then flipping vertically and horizontally, both of those are off. Uh, we don't need to change those any in any way as we need. Now for the actual mask. Uh, two stickers. Made these a little bit darker because I felt like that color better reflected the silver as it goes with the texture of the rubber mask. Um, if I made it up to the 24, whatever... I, I think it's too bright. I don't think it looks as good. Uh, it looks a lot more white than silver. So I'm leaving it at the 17. And there are two stickers. I'll just show you real quick. It's kind of the same issue with the the forearm. Uh, well, the entire arms. Uh, there is a little bit of clipping. I wanted to add another sticker in the back to cover that clipping. So I just threw another sticker on the back. Um, I'll show you the rotations for that in a second. But both of these are uh, 1704, so now you'll notice that the seam is barely noticeable from the back there, based on the sticker. Um, otherwise, for this one, crank the size up to 100, and you don't actually need to mess with the angle or circumference or anything like that. Just put a square down, change it to 1704, crank it up to 100, good to go. Uh, second sticker... Pretty much the exact same thing, except moving along the circumference, crank that all the way up to 50. 
or you could do negative 50, literally does not make a difference. As long as it registers that that sticker is on the full back of the head, you are good to go. Now for the fun part, the chest piece. Since the sleeveless unitard is mostly this, this bluish color, you had to add details for the Pepsi logo uh, and the silver part of his costume. So I'll admit this one is not quite my design. Um, the third costume, that one is my design. Uh, but this one, I did, I forget exactly where I found it. I just found it on a YouTube video. But pretty much to make the Pepsi logo itself, uh, we'll start with the second sticker. Order matters because of layering. But uh, the second sticker is probably the most prominent feature because it's what makes up the primary Pepsi symbol. So for that, uh, the colors are going, the color number one is going to be 145.5. You want that to be a little bit more washed out. And then the red is going to be. 163.9. Uh, the color spectrum starts at more of a yellow all the way at the top after you get past the monochrome layer, so we're just cranking it all the way down a little bit closer to pink than red, but it looks red enough in contrast with all the silver and blue that's going on. Uh, so that's going to be 163.9 in case I didn't say it. So application method is going to be projection. We're going to make that upper body and the numbers here on out get very, very specific, so I'll just run through them. Uh, for the Motif 9, which is going to be your second sticker, size is 23, angle, negative 33, moving vertically, 21, move horizontal is unchanged at 0, vertical angle is unchanged at 0, horizontal angle is unchanged at 0, and then flipping them vertically or horizontally, we just leave those off. And basically those top three numbers are what you're looking at, size, angle, and moving vertically. Once you get that, it's locked in place, you're good to go. Then we're moving on to Chinese character 66. It's just a very simple brush stroke. I really don't actually know what it even means. I just know that when you make it big enough, adjust the height properly, color the entire thing silver, and put it over a blue and red yin yang symbol, it looks like the Pepsi logo for the most part. Uh, you're going to notice if you zoom in really close, you can kind of see the edges of it. There's a little bit of color clipping. You're really not going to notice it in a fight unless you're really looking for it. Uh, this is, from what I've seen and what I've kind of experimented with, the most accurate way to get this version of the Pepsi logo. So this is how I did it. I just, you know, mimicked what I saw and it works out really well. Uh, color for Chinese character 66 is going to be 2304. Um, that might actually... No, sorry, yeah, it, I forgot, it's too bright if it's 2404, so uh, 2304, that's what we're looking at. Upper body projection, size is going to be 79, angle is going to be 16, move vertically, so moving it up, is going to be 22, move horizontally is going to be negative 7, and the vertical angle and horizontal angle are left unchanged at 0. Uh, same thing with flipping vertically and horizontally, going to be left off. Now the two circles, oh, one of the circles is, um, I can show you just by uh, upping this quite a bit. Uh, this is the circle that kind of oversees itself as the perimeter for the Pepsi logo itself. So that we had at 23. Uh, this is this sticker is going to be motif one, and it's going to be a third sticker to go on the back of the yin yang symbol. Uh, color is going to be twenty five zero four, the pretty standard silver. Uh, it meshes better as this type of silver as opposed to Chinese character sixty six, so we're okay with going twenty five zero four. Size twenty three. Angle is going to be zero. 
moving vertically is going to be 21. So you're going to try and match that in the level as best as you can. And then moving horizontally, it doesn't matter. And then the vertical and horizontal angles are also defaulted at zero. Flipping vertically and horizontally, we're going to leave those off. And then the final circle is how we're going to cover the right side, torso, hip, shoulder, and back portion uh, to really kind of flesh out and finalize the costume. If you really wanted to, uh, you can also kind of make a, some of these values negative, um, like moving along the axis or moving along circumference. Uh, just kind of flip the positive negative properties of those if you want all the silver to be on the left side but re-looking at the playstation one game which is is truly based off of everything was on the right side so that's what we're sticking with uh for this um in case i didn't say the color again gonna be 2504 our magic silver uh it's gonna be a rotation on the upper body so that way we can play around with it a little bit and get more accurate results uh, what I was able to find, um, size, we're going to make it 59. This is covering most of the body, so it's going to be a lot larger. Angle is going to be 33. Move on axis is going to be 19. Moving along the circumference is going to be negative 26. And again, flipping vertically and horizontally are both going to be off. No stickers anywhere else. And then for the... Uh, weapons themselves uh, I actually just use the default colors since uh, what I forget what the actual weapons were called uh, let me double check it was like something in ephemer it was the epiphany and ephemerality eternity and ephemerality um, they are already basically the Pepsi logo uh, if you really wanted to use chaos in order I guess you could but I think that the watched out coloring of Eternity and Ephemerality works a little bit better. Uh, so yeah, then you can give him whatever picture you want to. Oh, um, for all these characters, battle comments, I, did, I, I, I didn't. I, I just didn't care. Um, I made the picture nice. Um, if you're interested, pose 5 right at the very beginning. Uh, background 139, back frame 27, front frame, thir front frame 31, and of course I hid the weapon uh, because I just want to show Pepsi Man holding a can of Pepsi. And to get that picture perfect, just uh, change the pose speed, adjust the frame, and then click take picture. That's all I need to do there. I'm going to save continue because we did make some adjustments there. Uh, second version, Pepsi Man 2. This is loosely based off of the Pepsi Man 2 or Pepsi Man Returns mod for uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 Revenge. It's the one where you play as the Cyborg Ninja. They changed the Cyborg Ninja into Pepsi Man, and he sneaks around in a giant Pepsi can, and he beats somebody to death with a vending machine. It's glorious. So to replicate that glory, I decided to do my best to make a cyborg ninja version of Pepsi Man. Now this character, uh, the basis is a little bit different. Uh, so for starters, weapon slash style, I went with Geralt. Uh, because, you, you know, you could say that since Pepsi Man 2 uses a katana, you should just go with Mitsurugi. I think that Mitsurugi is way too slow. Uh, and also the entire... Uh, well, too, too slow for the animations for, you know, somebody who's made and jacked up on Pepsi. Uh, so I just went with uh, Geralt because I, like, I felt like his speed with the sword was really good. And also, he has a attack... I don't know if it's like a strong forward or something like that. I, I don't play Soul Calibur. I, I, I don't speak the lingo. Uh, but he does have a very simple attack that's easy to pull off where you uh, shoot a beam of magic out of your offhand. 
Uh, when you do that with this character as I designed him, it looks like he's cracking open the can and spraying them with Pepsi, which I think is hilarious. So I kept it on Geralt. Uh, for the uh, weapons, I chose the Black Unicorn and Arendite. Again, anime pack, holy soul charge, pretty standard stuff. For the body, since this is a cyborg ninja, we're actually going with automaton mail. Uh, but otherwise, pretty much everything is the same. Slightly tall, average, negative 12 across the board. No hair, no eyebrows, and exact same voice as the other ones. For the equipment, almost went all steel. So you're gonna go steel helmet, steel mail, steel gauntlets, and then the purge greaves. Uh, the steel greaves, I forget why I didn't like them, I'll be honest, but they just didn't look right. I felt like we could do a lot better and I think we did with the purge greaves. So yeah, purge greaves instead of steel, but that's okay. Uh, for the additional objects, I decided to forego the ring on the bottom of the can from the original in order to place the apple on the head to give it that look of the, of the cyber ninja eye that Raiden has. Uh, so, it's going to be an apple on the head. Exact positioning, uh, right left is unchanged. Moving up and down is going to be negative 17. Moving forward and back is going to be positive 8. Rotating vertically, we're just going to do negative 90. Uh, rotating horizontally is going to be 0. Uh, width, length, and thickness are all going to be 0 as well. Angle is going to be 0. And that's good for the apple eye. Then the last two, cylinder and cogwheel. Uh, these are completely optional. I wanted to give this version a can of Pepsi, so I did. If you want to give him a can of Pepsi too, you're going to put it on the left hand. Moving right and left is unchanged at 0. Moving up and down, you're going to go 8. Forward and backward is negative 15. The width, negative 30. Length is 0. Thickness, negative 30. Rotating vertically, you're going to do 37. And rotating horizontally, you're going to go 19. Uh, all of this was to make it look as accurate as possible that he's actually holding a can in his idle hand, or in his offhand when he's idling. Uh, and it carries over to the game very well. Oh, also the uh, angle is going to be at 97. So yeah, uh, in case you missed those last three, rotating vertically 37, rotating horizontally 19, angle is going to be 97. And then for the cogwheel to match it up with the cylinder there, put it on the left hand. Moving left and right is going to be 11. Moving up and down is going to be 9. Moving forward and backward is going to be negative 18. Width and length, again, negative 50 to make it as small as possible. Thickness is zero. Rotating vertically, I put it at negative six. Rotating it horizontally, I put it at negative 103. And the angle is remains unchanged at zero. So that's everything there. Uh, for the colors and patterns, uh, since this is the automaton and we, we, we just kind of understand it's full robot, complete ninja there. Um, we are not changing the skin at all. I think all of these are just the default values, uh, so we don't need to worry about anything there. Um, I would basically leave the, um, well, the armor set, uh, you could change that to 3104. We're going for more of a white, shiny, mirror's edge style coloring as opposed to uh, some of the darker, grittier silver, only because I think it contrasts better with the blue. Um, so yeah, uh, pretty much across the board for everything 3104. That's going to be our metallic white, not our magic silver. Once you do that to pretty much everything, when you get into the specific colors, for the steel breastplate, or steel chestplate, or whatever it's called, the first color is going to be 444. Uh, that's going to give you that nice dark blue color that encompasses most of the chestplate, 
but all of the accents are perfectly fine at being that 3104. You're going to be putting the same color as the first color for the steel gauntlets. Uh, the other three remaining colors are going to be that 3104. And then for the uh, Purge Greaves, our uh, first color is going to be a 3104. The second color of those is going to be that 444. Uh, for the apple on the head, he had a red eye. Therefore, default color for the apple, perfectly fine. Uh, color for the Pepsi can is 10459. And color for the cogwheel is going to be our magic 2004 that we've been using. Now for the fun part. Um, on the body, I wanted to add kind of like a little Easter egg. Since when this version's armor breaks, you're not going to see like a character that's made entirely out of Pepsi. I wanted to hide the Pepsi Man logo for when, you know, somebody else breaks the chest piece. Uh, so, uh, layering again is really, really important. But what I did for this one, put down Motif 19. Uh, color is going to be, first color is going to be 545.5. Second color is going to be 119. We actually get a good, proper, solid dark red there, so that's really nice. It's going to be on an upper body projection. Uh, size is 25, angle is negative 30, moving vertically is going to be 20, moving horizontally is unchanged at 0, the vertical and horizontal angles are unchanged at 0, and then again, flipping vertically, the flips are off. Flips are always off. I'm still going to end up repeating that anyway. But now remember, because layering is important, that's going to be the fourth sticker. I guess you can make it the second sticker or the third sticker, as long as the uh, number one sticker is on top of it. So speaking of number one, we're going to take that. Uh, the color for that is going to be our traditional silver, 20 zero, 4 It's going to be an upper body projection. Size is going to be 40. Angle is going to be 25. Moving vertically is going to be 20. Moving horizontally is going to be zero. The vertical and horizontal angles are going to be zero. And flips are off. Now, for the helmet, uh, I didn't like how it still just kept that silver look. I could kind of see it at the uh, bottom of the helmet, top of the chest piece there. That's kind of what it looks like. I didn't like that strict silver look. I wanted to make it a little bit brighter. So I just took a sticker... Um, Motif 4. I guess you could really use whatever you wanted to. Uh, made it our 3104, the pure white. Uh, it's going to be rotation on... Well, the head you can't really change. So it's going to be placed based on rotation. You just put it on there. Once you change the color, crank the size all the way up to 100. Pretty much covers the entire thing. You're set there. Uh, I'm okay with a little seam in the back. Uh, because for one, it kind of matches the natural seam of the helmet anyway. And two, I'm out of sticker space, and this is what we're left with anyway. Uh, so for the chest piece, just to add a little bit more detail, I wanted to add this tree to the back. Uh, so it's going to be Motif 29. Both colors are going to be our 3104. It's going to be on upper body rotation. And the orientation I gave it was size 62, angle 0, move on axis 14, and move along circumference negative 50. Or you could do positive 50, does not matter. And flipping is off. Now for the arms, to give them as much, kind of like to break up the blue as much as I could, I just took a bunch of motif fours put them on the arms, made them appropriate sizes, and then colored them the pure white, uh, both for each shoulder and each hand. So one sticker is going to be 3104. Uh, you're going to do right arm rotation, size 75, angle 0. Move on axis is going to be negative 50. Move along circumference is going to be 22. Now remember that 22. 
uh, flipping is off. Then same thing for the other arm. Uh, you're going to put it on the left arm, and uh, rotation is the same. Size is the same at 75. Angle is the same at 0. Act move on axis is the same at negative 50. But again, because this is the left arm and not the right arm, and we're doing that mirror orientation, it's going to be at negative 22 instead of the 22. And flipping is off. Next for the hand. Still motif 4, still the 3104. Uh, putting it on the left arm. Rotation. Size is going to be 46. Angle is going to be 0. Moving on axis is going to be 50. And moving along circumference is going to be negative 22. And then lastly, at least for the arms, uh, going to put this on the right arm. Then its size is 46. Angle is 0. Move on axis is 50. And move along circumference is 22, as opposed to negative 22. Flipping is still off. That's it for all the stickers. You're going to end up with a character that does look like this if you follow everything exact. And then just for, you know, to keep with the red and blue Pepsi theme, I made his first swing the uh, 10 one, 9 color. And his uh, secondary sword, 10 45, 9 If you're looking to get a picture like this, I used pose 8, just at kind of like a couple of frames into the pose is how I took it. Background 149, back frame 39, front frame 7, and hiding the weapon. Now, for the final version of Pepsi Man, this one I actually haven't seen anybody make before. Um, if it does exist, I just honestly haven't seen it. I had to create this one from scratch. There is a strong chance that somebody did it before me, but this is the one I created and I'm putting out there. Uh, Pepsi Man appeared a third time in a video game. He was a secret unlockable character in a very bad fighting game called Fighting Vipers. Uh, really, Pepsi Man is the only legacy to Fighting Vipers. So, I decided to make a character and costume based off of that. It is predominantly going to resemble the uh, uh, first version of Pepsi Man from the PlayStation one, you know, his own game, with a few enough modifications to the outfit to account for how he looked in Fighting Vipers, because this is basically his alternate costume. Uh, for weapon and style, I chose Talon, because she is the closest to a uh, strict martial artist with punches, kicks, everything like that, that we really get in Soul Calibur. Uh, so uh, in faith of a fighting game like Fighting Vipers, I want to keep that. I chose Side Harp uh, because originally it just looked like two halves of the crescent of the Pepsi logo, and I thought that looked cool. And then I actually got into coloring them. We'll go over the colors in a bit. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was a nice homage to New Burn Pepsi. Anime pack, holy soul charge, you know the drill. Body. Uh, we're going to go back to the shapeshifter male. Slightly tall average, negative 12 across the board. Male face 1 doesn't matter, and I kept the same voice. You can use whatever voice you want to. For the equipment, this one's going to be a lot simpler. Uh, we're going to go back to the rubber mask. Basically, the rubber mask is completely the same. Um, I'll double check the colors, but yeah, basically rubber mask is completely the same. Uh, rubber unitard, this is the one that covers everything, including, you know, the full sleeves. Since his appearance in Fighting Vipers, he was predominantly silver with just the nice red accent highlights, which will cover in the stickers. Um, you know, he was predominantly silver. So replicating that, we can go with the rubber unitard and we don't have to worry about color meshing or anything like that. Have to have the silver necklace, no exceptions. If you try to remove it, you are wrong. And then Shinobi Tabby just to cover up the feet. 
very simple stuff. And because we're not doing anything too complicated with cans of Pepsi or anything like that, and plus because this one is holding weapons in both hands at all times, uh, no cans of Pepsi, no need for Cyber Eyes, so no additional equipment. Add whatever you want to. It's your character, your console, go for it. But this is how I made mine. Now for the colors and stickers, um, again, because like I said, I originally just copied over the first version of Pepsi Man and modified it into this. Uh, I like the idea of him being completely made out of Pepsi. So uh, dark brown for the skin, metallic brown makes a really nice Pepsi idea. Uh, for the uh, uh, mask and leotards themselves, uh, the mask I put down to 3104, that really doesn't matter, we're going to be covering it anyway. Uh, the uh, uh, rubber unitard, sorry, uh, it's going to be 3104. This character is going to be a little bit brighter than the traditional Pepsi Ann, which does ultimately work out because the first version of Pepsi Man was balanced out by the dark blue of his natural color. So, or the natural color of his outfit. So, it's okay if we go the full 3104. It lo still looks a lot more silver than it does white. Uh, chain necklace, leave it as the same. And then the Shinobi Tabby, since those can go up a lot, lot brighter, in order to do a decent job of matching the silver, uh, we left that color at 1705. Uh, now for the fun part. Because he is predominantly colored and we don't have to worry about the arms again, you don't need to add any stickers to the body. The stickers that we put on the mask are exactly the same as the first version of Pepsi Man, but just as a refresher. Motif 3, 1704. Rotation, size 100, angle 0, move an axis 0, move along circumference 0, flips are off. And then a second sticker on the back, exact same thing, except moving along the circumference is going to be either 50 or negative 50. Uh, size still 100, everything there, exactly the same, 1704, uh, just to cover up that seam in the back. Now we get to the fun part. Uh, the stickers for this one. The first sticker I did, I chose Motif 3, the square. Made that, I believe it was, yeah, 1063.9. Uh, because of the yellow satur or the yellow spectrum, sorry. Uh, we, this is the closest to red that we're going to get. And he did have red on the inside of his legs in Fighting Vipers. So to replicate that. Give him a big old square. Uh, just put it on the right leg. Just, I don't know, I just chose right leg and worked visually from there. Um, it's going to be on rotation. Uh, the size, you're going to crank that up a little bit to 56. Angle is going to be 0. Moving on axis is going to be 7. And moving along circumference is going to be 26. All of this together is going to give it basically very good symmetry in between the legs there and going down the legs for the red. Flipping is off as per usual. Now to create the chest piece, had to get a little bit creative with this one. Um, like I said, if somebody took this design, I didn't see it before. Um, but for this one, we'll uh, start with sticker number four because layering matters. This one is the giant, this number one, literally this one, is the giant red stripe that is going down his lower chest and stomach and just above his waistline um, as the red stripe leading from his Pepsi logo. So to do that, uh, both colors are going to be 1063.9. It's going to be an upper body projection. The size crank that all the way up to 100 angle moving vertically moving horizontally uh, vertical angle and horizontal angle all those are going to be default zero uh, once you just put it on the body and crank that up to 100 it that's where pretty much the uh, color is going to be now to layer over that 
to get as accurate as a Pepsi logo as I was able to find on my end. I uh, took Motif 9, 19, sorry, Motif 19, the yin and yang symbol again. Color is going to be our 545.5. Uh, color 1 is going to be that. Color 2 is going to be the 10639 that we've been working with. It's going to be an upper body projection. The size is going to be 25. Angle is going to be negative 30. Moving vertically is going to be 18. And then uh, moving horizontally, the vertical angle and the horizontal angle are all going to be defaulted at zero. I'm going to show you real quick uh, why 18 is going to be really relevant. Let's say we crank that down a bit. Uh, you can, at the very top, you can see with how everything is layered, you can see the top of the fourth sticker that we had on that number one. So this positioning is very fine-tuned and very specific in order to also cover up that one. Or at least the top part of it, because we only really want the bottom half of that one. And then speaking of number one, we're going to use this in order to cover the uh, uh, middle part of the yin and yang symbol in order to emulate that Pepsi logo effect. And I'll show you specifically why we chose the number one for that, um, as opposed to uh, Chinese character number 66. But anyway, color is going to be 1904. This is one of the few times we deviate from the magic silver number that we mentioned earlier. But basically just with how lighting versus textures versus material looks, uh, ultimately this, look, this color looks the most seamless on this version of the outfit. So it's going to be an upper body projection. Size is going to be 42. Angle is going to be 25. Moving vertically is going to be 18. Moving horizontally is going to be negative 2. That's going to be very important. I'll show you that in a minute. Otherwise, vertical angle, horizontal angle, uh, both are defaulted at 0 and flipping is off. Now, the reason I chose the number one is because, mostly because the Chinese character 66 was very um, distracting and obstructive. The color clipping was a lot more noticeable on how bright this, how bright I initially made this suit. So I wanted something a little bit more subtle. And the number one, since it's relatively compact, uh, it does its job of covering the middle of the Pepsi logo there. Um, but it's not fighting against the silver that Chinese character 66 did. And choosing the number one I just ultimately made it look better. Now, I mentioned this move horizontally negative two. Uh, the reason we do that is because the fourth sticker that we went over first is a number one. So if we have this at negative one or zero, give it a second to load, you'll see that that red from the number one there all the way at the bottom kind of pops through. And it's a little bit more pronounced if we just move it over a little bit more. You can see how that red was actually indeed a number one. So we move it over to negative two, so that way the bottom of this one can cover up the top side tip of the bottom one. Otherwise, no stickers there. And then last thing really to cover, uh, I did decorate these Tonfa specifically to look like the Pepsi logo. Um, I think this is the, yeah, this is just the default color for the swing animation, so perfectly fine there. You can change that up if you want to, but I really see no need to. Um, otherwise, the first color that encompasses most of the blades is going to be the 545 5 that we've been working with. The second color is going to be 20 0, 4. Third color, which is the uh, kind of looks like uh, melted wax at this point, but yeah, that color is going to be 15, 1, 9. 
And then last color for these is just going to be 3104. A little bit of lag there. No battle comments as per usual. And then to get the picture that I got, um, I just chose pose 10. It's literally going to be the very, very first frame when they have their hands up in like that sparring position that you would expect out of an old school fighting game. So uh, post speed settings, slow that all the way down to get that first frame picture perfect. Uh, oh, sorry, first animation frame for the uh, perfect fighting pose picture there. Um, otherwise, background 143, back frame 33, front frame 6, and of course you're hiding the weapon because you wanted to make this look as close to a martial artist as possible. Otherwise, snap your picture. And that is how you can own all three in my mind, canonical versions of Pepsi Man, the greatest action star to ever grace our fictional reality. So, I hope you enjoy. Hope you could take this character into the arena. I uh, hope you have fun with it. And otherwise, maybe I'll see if I ever do any other characters in Soul Calibur. Maybe even other versions of Pepsi Man, should they exist. But, yeah, otherwise, thank you for watching, and have a great rest of your day.